We're out exploring, looking for places to fish. And one of the camp hosts told us about this area. Mike could go around over there yeah, on that a, point. Yeah, that's correct. Right get too shallow. Yeah, get some to some deeper water. But so pretty. And we're off. I've never seen green worms. That's just nasty. <laughs> I've seen brown worms, but I've never seen green ones. So walleye evidently like green, green worms, or else they're from hatch. They're from hatch. They've been eating green chilies. First cast of the season. Ooh, nice. Now, catch us a fish. Yeah. Dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Dinner. Catch him. Catch so, him cook. Yeah, so this lake has walleye, which I've never caught walleye before. So I'm excited to see if we can catch some. We didn't, we forgot to ask her how deep to fish for the walleye. True. going to the river this morning. I don't think we are. They've got it blockaded. And I uh, guess we'll be turning around. Going to the lake. Going to the lake. Sun's just starting to come over the mountain. <laughs> so since we got turned around and couldn't get to our river spot, we came back to the lake. So far, nothing is even nibbling. So we may be changing location soon. But isn't this beautiful? Thank you. Good morning. We're gonna get some walleye this morning. I think you are. Oh, that would be so awesome. Yeah. You were telling us about the boat on the wall outside. Yes, the original <laughs> owner Julie got together with uh, some of her friends and and uh, coffee mates, and they came up with the plan and and uh, took one of their old boats that they didn't want to use and stuck it in the wall. That is so awesome. You guys come by and see Becca at Little Abner's in, at, out, just outside of Caballo Lake State Park in Caballo. Yes, so uh, the boat out front has become uh, nationally known. Uh, it is a Pokemon stop, so you can discover that while you're traveling. There's several of them along the way and into T or C. That is so cool. We also cool. have geocaching out here in the state park and along the way. That's what. So there's a great adventure. Yeah, that's what Frugal RV Gal does right there. Yeah. It's geocaching. Oh, nice. Oh, check it out. We're in the midst cool. of adding more stock. Lots of fishing supplies, yeah. several racks of poles and worms and minnows, whatever you want. She's got, we're ready to go fishing. <laughs> so Becca at Little Abner's store told us about this secret fishing hole. 
and we used our public lands app to make sure that she didn't send us to somebody's private property and it is public lands and so we are headed to the Rio Grande our last fishing hole didn't work out too good there's the river and there's some other people and so we're going to try this for a fishing spot thank you Becca so what do y'all think of our new fishing hole right on the Rio Grande River Rio Grande as we say in Texas Tejas this catfish but she looks pregnant so we're putting her back in 